The latest now on the battle over impeachment. The president is calling the inquiry a coup, saying he wants to interview the whistleblower at the center of it all. As Secretary of State Mike Pompeo clashes with congressional leaders and the State Department Inspector General Independent is set to turn over new documents on Ukraine to Congress later today. Our senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega tracking all the latest. Good morning, Cecilia. George, good morning to you. House Democrats and the Secretary of State are both accusing each other of intimidation, but it seems for now anyway, at least some of the people that Mike Pompeo does not want to post on Capitol Hill are defying him. This morning, a showdown on Capitol Hill. House Democrats demanding to depose five current and former State Department officials who are witnesses in their investigation. But the Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, rebuffed the request, at least for now, calling the demand, quote, an attempt to intimidate, bully, and treat improperly the distinguished professionals of the Department of State. Democrats livid. Secretary Pompeo is just stonewalling and delaying, and we aren't going to put up with those tactics. And overnight, the Democratic chairs of the House Foreign Affairs Oversight and Intelligence Committee sending a scathing response, accusing Pompeo of a blatant cover-up and a clear abuse of power. President Trump escalating his own attacks on the Democrats' impeachment inquiry, calling it an attempted coup on his presidency. He tweeted, as I learn more and more each day, I am coming to the conclusion that what is taking place is not an impeachment, it is a coup intended to take away the power of the people. The president also blasting the whistleblower, saying he's not only entitled to know the identity, he now also wants to interview the person. The president tweeting, why aren't we entitled to interview and learn everything about the whistleblower and also the person who gave all of the false information to him? But the president's own inspector general is calling the whistleblower's complaint credible. And now top Senate Republican, Iowa's Chuck Grassley, issuing this public rebuke, saying this person appears to have followed the whistleblower protection laws and ought to be heard out and protected. Uninformed speculation is counterproductive and doesn't serve the country. And now this morning, of course, after Pompeo was found, that revelation of Pompeo was found to be among those listening in on the call between President Trump and the president of Ukraine. The State Department's own inspector general is headed to Capitol Hill for what he is calling an urgent briefing in a secure facility there. The topic, George, the State Department's documents related to Ukraine. And so he's turning those over today. Meantime, two of the witnesses that the House wanted to see from the State Department are actually going to appear before these committees. Yeah, and it's going to happen pretty soon, George. The uh, former U.S. Special Envoy to Ukraine, Kurt Volker, he resigned last week, of course, after he was named in that whistleblower complaint. He's agreed to give a deposition tomorrow. And then the former U.S. Ambassador to Ukraine, who was pushed out earlier this year, she will meet with Congress uh, next week, George. Okay, Cecilia Vega, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.